Here we are in Test Studio, where I'll quickly show you how to add verifications into your tests as you record them. First, we'll start by adding a test to our project from the project menu, and then we can go straight to that tab, click record, provide the URL to the application that we're going to, and choose a browser that we want to record from. This will start up the browser, navigate to that site, and record our navigate step here in Test Studio. You'll know that Test Studio is ready when the recording toolbar shows up at the top. Now I can go ahead and do as a user would do and interact with the application, adding new products to the menu here. When I'm ready to add a verification, I can simply toggle on the element highlighter from the recording toolbar. And as you can see, the element highlighter allows us to float over the elements that make up the UI. And as we do so, when we pause on an element, you'll see that you can actually choose from some preset quick step options to verify your element's visibility or the content, the text content of the element, whether it's enabled or not. You could even extract text from images if that's your target element. Uh, so a lot of very sophisticated functional verifications. And further, you can add a wait step, which gives you 30 second timeout rather than our default 15 seconds. And in fact, you can even extract variables from the live UI to maybe use in data driving other test steps or even passing to other subtests. So there you can see very quickly an extraction step added if we want to maybe add just the basic text contains verification as well, we can do so. And I can then turn off my element highlighter and resume interacting with the application uh, as a user would do. Capturing those action steps, turning on the element highlighter once again to make an appropriate verification. As you can see here inside this Blazor grid, the Telerik translator is kicking in, recognizing it is in fact one of our own, giving you some advanced features as well. And I'll add a quick step to verify that that price is now correct for, for that particular item as we make that change. Now, while we're here, let's get a little more advanced. With Telerik Test Studio, we do capture the recording of drag and drop. So as I move a column, around in this reordering call, it may naturally record that with a drag and drop element to a drag and drop target, a window target. Many times this might be something that's uh, less efficient or weaker. A more reliable way to create this type of test step is to use the element highlighter again, toggle on uh, that element highlighter, float over the element that you want to use for your drag and drop. As you saw before, the quick steps are here there's mouse actions as well, and uh, things like hover over, scroll actions. As we go down this list, you get to build step. And this will turn on our advanced recording tools that give you even more capability. Things like image verifications are here, text from image as well, like our OCR functionality we saw before is here again. Stylistic verifications too. And under our actions menu, you'll notice a drag and drop as well. So this drag and drop is basing the fact that I chose the cost cell as my drag item. And now I'm going to pick my target item. So we'll go back over to the UI and I'll actually pick, let's see if I can pick this one here. I'll select this as my target element. And back on the recording toolbar, you could see that it's chosen that element. And it's also saying the element center is the location that it's going to make that drop. You can modify this drop point even further by turning on the specific point. And I can actually have it drop maybe right here on this right edge of this element where the column splitter is, which will give me a very accurate drag and drop functionality. And as we add our step back in the test, you could see the drag and drop cost span to the table header. So this is a true element to element drag and drop. Now, why is that important when you're using drag and drop in a test? Well, element to element knows how to locate wherever that element may be. Its position can change, but we can go find element A and drag it to element B, wherever those elements may end up, right? This helps our test be more cross browser compatible, more robust over time. We're not depending on paths to find everything when things can move around. And this is a very advanced type of step that you can add quickly with the Telerik Test Studio advanced toolbar uh, to add your verifications, your advanced verifications. So again, this one here using a window target across an entire screen, uh, 
but as I showed you with the advanced recording options, you can make a more specific and reliable test that will execute. We'll go ahead and run both of these so you can see how they execute differently in your test, running from here on the fly with our run from here option. Of course, a couple tips. You do want to use full screen usually when you're doing drag and drop recording and execution, of course. And you also want to let go of the mouse when it's performing that action during execution so that you can actually see it doing its job. And as you can see, that executed flawlessly. It took the cost column from where it was, moved it to the first column, easily reordered that for us. And again, as things move or change, it will be able to locate those columns or, or those elements uh, and, and reorder things 